Hi, my name's Vanessa. This is my first time on YouTube, so be gentle with me. I'm going to show you my take on a shutter fold card. First of all, I'm going to take my easy scoreboard. If you haven't got one, no matter. I'm using a DL fold score line, so that means that your A4 card is divided into three. I'm going to fold that over and then fold that one over like that. Then I'm going to fold these back on each other. I'm just using a thin piece of card here which I would use as a I use usually do this so that I've got I can use it on a sample card and I'm not ruining my main piece. Then back on it again. Like that. And scroll down the lines. So there you are and you have that piece like that. We're going to fold that over to one side then each corner you're going to fold in at right angles to that middle fold line, that one there. Let's score that and again with this one. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. That one. And again that one. Now because we want those folds to be quite fluid and easily fold back on themselves. I'm just going to do that, just fold it both ways. Like that. Then you open out and you just pop those ones in like that. So you're reversing your folds. They just pop in like that. And you can score those lines as well with a bone folder just to make sure. It depends on what thickness of card you use. The thicker you use, obviously, you'll have to do this more def definely. So there you are, and you have your card that folds like that. Now you can decorate your cards in different ways. Here's one. Works particularly well with a decoupage card because you've got that nice bit when you fold it to post it you've, you can, you're protecting it and then it opens up. I've added two extra little pieces here where I've just made a slit in that outer fold and then folded those back as well. Looks just like a cracker actually when you've got it tight like that. That looks really well. That one. Then I've got this lovely snowman one. And I've put mirror card on the inside here and up here so that when it's standing you can actually, it reflects on itself. I don't know if, it, oh, can you see there? So it looks like the mirror, it's got it in the inside there. You can also, if you don't want to write on any of those pieces, you could add a piece on the back there to, uh, to write in. Here's another decoupage one. Don't have to all be Christmas. Again, it protects it nicely on the inside there, so you've got that. You can bring in the colour and use all the bits on your decoupage sheet. Just cut them out and put them in different places. I've got those there and there. There's another one. Oop. If you want, if you particularly like the fold like I do, you can go mad and join three together. So there's one. And then I've just added a sheet of card on the back to hold them all together. Put that together like that. And again, if you want somewhere to write in that you don't particularly want to do that, you can make a little pocket on the front there like that. Look, that was one of my friend's ideas, Angela. That's a good one. And here's another one. On this one, I've just folded the top side in because I wanted it to look a little bit like a stable. I've used uh, the black silhouette peel-offs and also a word that I've printed off on the sticky back clear plastic that you can then that's printable and there's the manger in, in, inside there and this one when you have a light behind it it really does look like the, sh the stars shining on it that's a lovely simple one but it's very effective here's another little one that I've used with the mirror card inside again and I love these little decoupage designs, these Marianne designs, they're really lovely. 
So there we are, and this is a lovely, you probably can't see it on there, but it's a very pale green mirror card. Here's a closer view of some of the cards that we've just made. This one I've used uh, one of the Kanban sheets, decoupage sheets. Make sure you use all the bits of that you've got on here. I've used the stars and one of the greetings as well up in the corner and some pale green card and some gold glitter card. For this one, two shades of, I've, I've got a lilac and a pink card and then I've used one of the decoupage sheets and again make sure you use all the little bits top and bottom you can put those together the little triangles that we've got here they're if you cut two squares one four millimeter and one five millimeter then cut them in half and then you've got those and also these ones this one again using the Kanban uh, one of this year's uh, snowmen designs and I've also used one of the cutters one of Marianne's uh, cutters that I've used on the cuddle bug with the mirror card the snowflakes and there's this one oops attached to all sorts of other things again just plain cream card and this again is one of the Kanban sheets uh, I think there's 12 of these little Scott uh, squares on the sheet so you get lots for your money on that one and some mirror card and some aubergine shiny card I like the aubergine I'm going to do lots more with that one and then we've got the away in a manger card I've used um, I've, I've cut a, an aperture in the back of the card here you can see and that is so that you can see right through the illusion card and just to give a I don't know if you can see that but if you've got a uh, if that's amongst your cards on the mantelpiece with the uh, fairy lights behind it or something, it's going to look really pretty. Another idea, when I've just thought of that, the mantelpiece, you could make a fireplace of that design. There's some pilos with fireplaces on as well. That would look really cool with a red, with a red sheet of the illusion card. That would be amazing. All the products I've used today are available in the shop and also on the website, which is www.craft-ability.com. The phone number 01908 You'll also find the workshops that are listed on that on the workshop page on the website. We run them regularly. There's usually two or three going on a week. All the cards I've made today we have done in workshops. I try to do a six card special at least twice a month and in that you will learn six different techniques using all the latest materials and products. It would be lovely to see you if you can come and see me. If not, I'm going to try and do more of these. Thanks a lot. Bye.